Yo, what's good, familia, friendly ghosts, and non-friendlies? How is everybody doing? We're going to be ranking some Street Fighter music. Uh, you know, I did this like a like about a couple months back, but you know, I didn't uh, go through and finishing it because I wanted to like iron out how I wanted to construct the videos and whatnot. So let me lay down the ground rules for y'all so we can make sure that we have a, a seamless viewing experience. You see the ranks on the bottom left. It says dynamic, energy, uh, tone, classic, dance, right? And basically, I'm going to add these points up and whatever theme song scores gets put into the specific category, so on and so forth. Now, I'm judging dynamic by the range of the music. You know, how much much of a journey does it take you on? Energy is how, how the tempo is and... You know kind of throwing in does it fit for a fighting game and how much energy does it bestow onto the listener you know or is it just something that just falls flat the whole way through you know so that's that's that tone is how much of a it fits with the character how much it fits with the game setting the classic is these are just bonuses classic if i think it, it has like a real classic type of vibe to it i'm like a i'm a 90s kid i grew up in the 90s that's my error and I know that distinct sound of something that feels like it's a classic to me even if it's something I've never heard before or never seen before I know what that feels like dance is it, is it something that you can dance to this is an extra one I'm throwing in is it something that you can dance to if I can throw on this little icon right here where, where the fuck is this <laughs> part of my French uh, I cuss when I get little you know, a little antsy. Where is it at? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Here we go, right here. Let me bump it up to the top. If I could throw up Door the Explorer Crip Walking and it fits, if it fits, if you can move your feet to the beat, then you're going to get that bonus. <laughs> if not, then that's also going to play an effect in some of the other scores, you know. I'm gonna use my best judgment for everything. So we got those ground rules in place. You notice that the, another note that, you know, the total score of these three rankings, dynamic, energy, tone, scoring zero to five are gonna determine the placements. And then the bonuses go on top of that to also influence the placements. Um, what else do I wanna say? Uh, I'm not. Oh yeah, I'm not trying to bash the game or, you know, I'm not I'm not here trying to disparage the game in any way, shape, or form. Because I like all the songs low-key. It's not that we're judging just because we put something in a low tier that we think the song is just terrible. It's just, maybe it's just not the best fit for a fighting game or maybe just for that character or maybe whatever reason that will go on. Um... So yeah, we're gonna listen through all the tracks. And also, we just got one more thing, one more thing. I added, this is a new addition. I added a graph. So as we're listening to these theme songs play out, I'm gonna use this graph. The bottom blue is empty. I feel like it's, it's nothing. It might as well not even be there. It's just doesn't do anything for the piece at all. It doesn't help, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, a, it's a negative in my opinion and we got the next ranking is a blue code um gets in this area this is just like eh, you know it, it's not the best right and we start getting warmer 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 right and then we get the hot label hot label is is like something that's just more like metal more amped more hyper energetic maybe not be something that is just vivacious in the most eternal sense but it's definitely it's hot material and then green is like masterful performance you know just right vibable that's that sauce that we all want to get to and we all want to revel in and so yeah throughout the song i'm going to go from the start i'm going to go to the middle and the end and just going to have like a, a rough graph of what we're listening to you know, just like a little visual for everybody to, you know, keep on check. Because I'll try not to talk to it throughout the songs. <laughs> so, 
without further ado, let's start off with our first track. We're going to pick one at random. Wherever the cruiser lands, that's where we're going to pick first. Jamie. So groovy though. I lied, I'm talking like a mother. <laughs> okay. This is definitely something that's gonna get that bonus of dance. Alright. Right now I think it's like right in here. like right here I wouldn't say it's hot I wouldn't say it's hot yet but it's definitely something you can move your feet to oh shit <laughs> oh shit We in here. Okay. Got a little calm down. A little calm down. Back in the lukewarm, lukewarm. Ooh, the danger theme. I think Jamie has one of the best danger themes. One of. No. I feel like right here. That's Jamie. That is Jamie, right? That graph is, 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 is it's kind of hard to draw, man. I'm using a touchpad. <laughs> that's that's my rough graph for, for what it what it looks like to me, what it sounded like to me. Is it, this is not like a, a like a permanent take? This is like a rough example of, of shit. Um, so just to give you something to look at and, and shit. All right, let's go to the scores table. So here we are with Jamie. Let's reduce that so Jamie 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 let's start from the top dynamic I do think it was keeping me invested right it never got to a point where it got too dull like you know I was tired of, of listening to one part repeated over and over it never got repetitive to me it never got repetitive I always felt like it was taking me from the bottom of the mountain and we just kept climbing in a way you know that's what i felt like i say it it was about a i would give it like a four out of five energy i would say it's about a about a three not as amped as the song that it sampled from um which is burning rangers not as amped as that song Let, let's listen to that one real quick just because <laughs> just because we can they always with us 
All right, that's enough. <laughs> so, yeah, not as as amped as that song, you know. But it it, it does uh, it does a good job, you know. It's nothing I can really fault it for. But I, I give it three three out of five. Yeah, I say it's it's a five out of five theme. If it's Street Fighter Six, I think it represents Street Fighter Six's vibe, you know, all the way to the temple. So, yeah, I give Tone a five out of five. Is it a classic? Uh, I I don't know if it's a classic. I don't know if it's a classic. Um, but is it something you could dance to? I'll say absolutely. So we got a score of 13 for Jamie, which is enough to get him in the A class. Hold on, you, you can barely see it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that pretty solid if I do say so myself well Jamie he's in the A tier let's go on to the next song Kimberly Kimberly we, we already did Kimberly um but let's let's do it again I my original ranking of Kimberly was that her song is good but it takes too long to get to the great parts right it has it's a good to great uh, theme song for a character but I feel like it just takes a bit too long to get to the parts that it specializes in um, you know and it lingers too long on the other parts start of it. I think it starts off pretty strong. It starts off pretty strong. It starts off so sick, man. <laughs> it starts off so sick. You know? It starts off so sick. And you know, it's, 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 it, I wouldn't say it's hot yet, but it, it's, it's like, it's getting close to that mark. You know, and it's just like riding it out. Up. It's close. Close. You know, it's like it wants to get over the top. in the middle now I say it's been like no change yet but it's it's it's, a, it's good it's good I dare say it's great all right I'll, I'll put it I'll put it in here I'll put it just I'll put it in here just for this part right <laughs> I like this part And this is the part where it, it's like it, it drops it off, you know, the momentum starts to shift. You know, I gotta give it a big drop, like right in here. You know, it's only like average, below average. This is all like the danger theme, right? So this is, I gotta give the danger theme like, down here. <laughs> okay, hold up. And then we're going back up. <laughs> we're going back up, hold up. All 
Okay. So I'm just gonna end the graph right there. That's what, the, what it looks like. I didn't time it right, but whatever. Y'all get the picture. So that part at the bottom where it dips, that is the part that ruins it for me. You know, it's like it, it just completely drops off everything that it was building up to. Dynamic range, I definitely think that it's it's more more repetitive than Jamie's song. And you know, in that retrospect, I can't give it a five. I have to give it to like a three. And you know, I give it like a three. You know, it doesn't really shift it up all that much. Energy, I give it like a four out of five. So dynamic three, energy, four. Tone. Tone, I would definitely give it. I wanna say another four. I would say another four. So that's that's eleven. Yeah, I, I, that's where I'd say it is. I don't think it deserve, it gets a, a classic bonus or a dance bonus. Personally, you know, it, it's not something that you can dance to. It may be like it's a good beat and all that, but I don't think it's like something that we could just dance. To, you know, it's eleven points just shy of the A tier, and it's largely due to that big dip right in that middle right around here you know that that is the big sauce deteriorator so moving on to the next one any mini money mo catch a tiger back so if you hollers let him go any mini shut the fuck up okay we still at jamie yeah, we'll, we'll go to where you then <laughs> so were you the main character of the franchise he's the main character and with that I don't think it will be too much of a surprise or a shocker to say that he's the template. He's the foundation for what this game is going to mold into. Ryu is like Street Fighter 6 personified, sound wise, maybe partially visual lies wise. So if this is the state of the art, Ryu is definitely the template for everything that is going to come. So he should have something that represents the tonal uh, status of Street Fighter VI. So basically he's, he's the standard and everybody else is the spinoff. So let's see how true that holds up. Ooh, we, we started off pretty hot. We started off like up here. Damn, <laughs> that didn't take long. <laughs> that did not take long. So it's more like... That shit did not take long. You just, you can, you can send my shit to the top. Put me on the billboards. Say that it's kind of kind of dropping a bit. I would say. Oh, there you go. Oh shit! It's like it's it's, it's like a, a wave. I'd say it's hot. Not quite.
Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fine. Just stay up there. Stay the fuck up there then. It's, it's going higher. So high doors blocking it with their crip walking. <laughs> look, I can't even look. Okay, you get the picture. I'm going off the graph. I can't go any further. Yeah, I ran out of graph space. Uh, so yeah, I think this one speaks for itself, right? Just when you thought it was done, it, it comes right back. It comes right back at you. Um, so I don't think anyone would doubt that this is one of the better, best songs in the game. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it never dropped off, never got worse, you know, from its starting point like arguably like this is like a rough draft of my graph right there right but i don't feel like it ever got worse than the starting point and it was just like a, a consistent climb one thing that's hard to do is when you you start to descend in anything you do whether it be writing whether it be a movie whether it be you know whatever when once you start to descend you lose momentum and it's hard to gain that back you know it, it it's not something that just comes and goes you have to gradually build back up to it if you let it descend too much. And that's what I, I feel like it's a problem with a lot of themes in this. Is that they let it drop for so much and for so long. It's hard to just gain that momentum back, you know, instantaneously in the, the three minute beat. Reuse theme, on the other hand, it sure it had parts where it dropped off. But it... You know, those were like necessary drops, necessary drops to keep the rhythm, to keep, you know, keep the, the flow changing, to keep it from being repetitive. Those were necessary drops to give you a chance to breathe just a little bit. You know, those are waves. Those aren't cliff falls, you know? So with that said, I'm just going to give Ryu, um, I'm just going to give him a five in dynamic. Um, I'll give his energy. It was obviously a five is the most upbeat song we've had so far most energetic song that makes me want to get up and, and start moving you know <laughs> want me to start punching punching something <laughs> uh tone definitely is the template for street fighter six we knew this going in and it is definitely holds something that holds true five 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 that is a 15 perfect score is it a classic i think yes can you dance to it hmm i think you can <laughs> i think we just have a just a perfect score right here we just have a perfect score based on my uh criterias so we got ryu sitting at a perfect score of 17 what was kimberly's score again i forgot to write it down we got a monster we got a monster up in here somebody clear clear the venue we need somebody who's going to claim her use spot freaks oh brother <laughs> oh brother oh brother okay Everybody, put your pop, put your popcorn away. Uh. I actually do like the way it starts off. It, you know, this is like around here.
you know? I'll even say I like this part. I like this part. But you know, it's, it's dragon. <laughs> Steady. So far, so good. Not a big draw. Uh, it's, it's. It needs to pick up though. <laughs> it absolutely cannot afford to drop after it is dropped, you know, multiple times in a row. And here we go. This is my problem with this song. <laughs> this is my problem right here. And it dropped again. It just dropped again. And this is the danger team and I say that's another drop. <laughs> Send it all the way down. Sitting all the way down. Okay. Oh, that's that's done with. We knew this. We knew what it was. We knew what it was. Door, you over there looking like a damn fool. You know damn well you could not get your sea walk in, homie. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna put door away for this one. We we gotta give. We gotta put her in. You know, we gotta send her away for that one. Uh, we were just dancing, you know, just like a few seconds, a few minutes ago. I, uh, so I'm just putting the goalie there just to, to talk about him, put him on at the podium, but he, he's probably not going to move from that spot. Just spoilers. So dynamic range. <laughs> it, it has a lot of range and not a, you know, at least in my graph, but it, it, it has next to no range at all. It has like three parts to it. Put it like this. There's good dynamic isms. And then there's this unnecessary just change just for the sake of change. You know, if it doesn't continuously build and add to the song, then it's just changes just for the sake of changes. Right. And Street Fighter 6 has a BGM format where they have songs play round Per round per round so even though i'm ranking these these are not going to be the legitimate way to rank these songs because these songs aren't going to sound like this when you actually play in the game these songs are going to play round one on its own loop and then it's going to play round two on its own is round three on its own right so these are going to be there they're essentially three different songs in one and then a danger theme tacked on at the end you know, which is usually the shortest loop. So in order to get the full, the full uh, judgment on these theme songs, you're going to have to listen to them round by round by round and rank those rounds individually because Street Fighter divides its songs. The good songs feel like they're one complete and whole song that you can listen to straight through. The bad songs feel like they were, or rather they feel like they're three different songs I don't know what I'm trying to say. They feel like they're songs that were s split up in a way that subtracted from the overall wholeness of the song, right? They're lingering on round one and it doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. And then I'll go to the next part, round two. And it's like, okay, well, it's already too late by that point. Round two sort of came somewhere closer to round one, you know, and the way that the, the beat kicks in, the way that the, the chimes come on and, and whatever, whatnot. 
And Goli is one of those examples where I feel like it was split up in a way that subtracted from the song rather than added to it. But again, it's something that you can only judge in an actual game. My only gripe with Gal's song, did I call him Gully? My only gripe with Gully's song is that his danger thing is in every iteration of these rounds. You know, that's the danger theme. They're in every iteration of the rounds. And so they're like the capitalizer. And his danger themes sucks, in my opinion. I'll say it flat out is the worst danger theme that I've heard, at least that I have in mind. So even in that round by round basis, I think that his song is still one of the weakest links. Um, so let's just get out, out the way. Dynamic, I'll give it like a one. This is definitely, I'll give it, I'll give it a two. Two out of five energy i'll give it a two out of five tone i'll give it it sounds like a goalie theme but it just it goes nowhere you know so i give tone i'll give it a, a two out of five so we got six total classic dance to no nada um so you get a six you know he's in there he's in there bottom of the sea but in the bottom of the sea that's yeah, cold-blooded door get back in here and actually, I don't know. Stay out. You don't know what's next. We don't know what's next. But it definitely can't get worse. Hopefully. It definitely can. Okay. Any mini money bone? Can stop by itself? If y'all just let me go. I don't even know. If it's a true self, then it should be a different song back here. Ooh, we got Jer. Wait, who's that? Okay. 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 True self. True self. We got Jerry on the podium. I like the start. Oh, get in here, Dora. Seat walk, homie. Yes. It's definitely a weird one. definitely a weird one <laughs> I, I don't feel like it's it's not bad it's it's not really taking me anywhere I feel like Definitely heavy on the the tone of the character for this one. Technically, this is downtime, but I actually like this part. I'll, I'll give it a, a slight boost. I'll give it a slight boost for that part, because I like it. All right. Danger theme come in. I think she has the best danger theme in the game, personally. 
Yeah, okay. That's what we were waiting for, right there. We were waiting for that part. Yeah. I have to put this like up here. But it, it's gonna end lower. So, uh, one this one point that I did forget to mention earlier on, because I, you know, I am ranking these based on if they fit for a fighting game. That's kind of like the, it's a combination of energy and tone and you know whatnot. It's a combination of all three scores. That's what all these scores are, more or less adding up to. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's just go over the list real quick, and because I didn't really talk about it. I think Ryu's theme fits for a fighting game. Jamie's song, I think it fits for a fighting game. Kimberly's song, I think it does fit for a fighting game. Um, let me, I'm trying to hear it in my mind real quick. I actually think that her song is kind of on the iffy side, right? It's, it's a, bit, a bit on the iffy side. But, it, it, you know, it, it's, it's like a B. It's like a B. <laughs> you know, it, it's a B. It's not bad. It's not the most fitting. You know, but it's, it's, there's definitely worse, like case in point, Gal gully over here um yeah so i don't think gully's song is, is fit for a fighting game at all i i just don't think it is i don't know what gall's Gaul, theme is fit for personally it's more like like a a, a gran turismo pre-race like you know a listing of, of the races you can qual qualify for <laughs> Just in the menu, not when you get to the race, you know, it's just like a, a selling you what you can and can't qualify or you you got your B license. OK, you you, you could access this race for J Japan cars only, you know, that's what it is kind of like that. But I don't know. It's kind of hard to really identify what his song fits for, but I don't think it's fit for a fighting game. Dynamic range is definitely one of the lowest parts of this song. One of the lowest, but it's not terrible, not bad. I give it a three out of five, three out of five. Energy, I'd give that is definitely not a song that gets you on your toes or keeps you, gets you hype or gets you amped. It, it doesn't really qualify that for you, right? This song needs a, a spirit bomb or, you know, rather Maybe we're used taking the spirit bomb and it's draining a bit out of everyone else. Uh, I give it a three out of five. You know, tone. Oy. Tone. Oh yeah, tone. Yeah, I'll give it a. I'll give it a five. <laughs> give it a five. Um, is it a classic? Don't think so. Can you dance to it? I don't think so. So six. We got eleven. Right up there with Kimberly. But I also, we got to add in the danger theme. The danger theme, on the other hand, I do feel like it has a lot more energy. I do feel like it has a lot more range, ironically, even though it's just like a, a three second loop. It does a lot for this song, especially being like one of the better danger themes in this game. It definitely fills you with a sense of dread and tension. And I've seen one match with that song where it was just extended, where both players were just sitting on low life for like 15 seconds straight. And that part just kicked in. And it was just like both players were tense, trying to inch in back and forth. And, you know, it was so sick. So I got to put Jerry in a wild card because I do think she has a great qualifier for her song. And it's going to be in every round, every match but it may not always kick in. So that's what I have to say. Kimberly's on the other hand, her danger theme, I think is also one of the best. We're going to have to do like a separate danger theme rankings only. Kimberly's danger theme takes so long to kick in before it gets to the good part. So that's an issue for her. And Jamie also has a good one, but I don't think it's on the level of Jerry's. Let's not even look at Gal. <laughs> Where the fuck are you? There you are. <laughs> her, her song says pink. P 
pan creation but every time i look at it i think that it says plankton <laughs> clear to grab. Oh, look at, look at the uh, door actually kind of fitting a little bit, a little weird. Let's give door some, some color. good start that's a good start It's pretty solid so far. Right, is all right. There is the drop. There's the drop we were looking for. All right. It's a very tonal based drop. Very tonal. All right. Even though it's picking up, I don't like this part as much as the first part. I can like right here. Another drop. Bigger drop than the last one. Some build up. Ooh. Damn. I like this danger theme. <laughs> I like it. I like it. so like 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 a bit of spooky like right. and it ends with the tonal drift all right all right hold on who did i jury hold on Let, let's rank this first let's rank marissa first marissa to the podium please it definitely, I felt like I was listening to the same snippets over and over, you know, multiple times, but I felt like the, the overall, um, attributes of the song didn't really make it feel that repetitive. I give it like a four out of five energy, oddly more energetic than, than I was anticipating. Um, was it something else you could dance to though? That is the question. I don't know, I, I gotta look at door. Let me look at door. I mean...
I can see it. Let, we need one more dancer up in here, right? We need one more dancer that isn't just crip rocking over everybody, right? You can't just have door over here banging on people. Definitely not a good spot. Um, door is definitely, he's definitely hitting it in some spots, you know. <laughs> so we we gave dynamic four, energy four. Um, oh yeah, tone. We didn't do tone yet. I think tone is like, here's the thing, for the character, I think the tone fits good you know i think it fits hits the mark for the game however for the game however for the game however uh i don't know i don't know about for the game per se but for the character i think it fits I give it a four right it fits the marissa just right just right but as far as the game aesthetic of Street Fighter, you know, the, the street culture and, you know, classical funk and, you know, whatever this, whatever that, you know, it's definitely more of a, a strange, less trying to fit in with that same style. But, you know, anyways, I give it a four. So that's a total of Reyof. And plus the dance bonus, 13, right? Actually, no, Jamie got, what did Jamie get? Turns out Marissa got the same score as Jamie. Um, now, I kind of feel like that's a bit flagrant. I kind of feel that's a bit flagrant. So I'm going I'm to deduct one score from the dynamic range and put it like that. So <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's as good as Jamie's. Um, I actually feel like Jamie should be higher, actually. I feel like Jamie should be higher. What is the low part? Energy? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, there we go. That's about right. That's about right. We we fixed something. We fixed it. That's more representative of, of how I feel about it. Honda. Ooh. Beam of Honda. Mm. I like it. All right, not too high on anything, but it's still hitting a good mark. I'm gonna put it up, up here. Mellowing out, mellowing out. Ooh, that's a nice breather right there. That's a nice breather. I like it. I like it. Not too high on anything, but I like it. Danger. I like it, but I it's I can't put it that much higher. I do like it though. Mm. 
All right, that's cool. That's cool. It ends on a somber note. It's not over. Oh. <laughs> Hold up. I'm off screen. I'm not going that high though. It's, it's like right here. See those two marks I just added? Those are the ending right there. <laughs> I got mixed up. I thought it was over. Uh, you know, it's 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 solid. It's a solid, solid overall song. Just solid throughout. Nothing too spectacular. Just solid. Honda to the podium, please. Um, it's definitely a song that just like it. It's doesn't try to fix what's not broken. The first score, dynamic, range. I'm gonna give it a three. I'm gonna give it, a, you know, just a three. You know, I like the song overall, but it definitely just like it. You know, I'm gonna do this one thing and it's gonna work. <laughs> so, give that a three. Energy wasn't the most energetic thing out there. It was very like mellowed out, but it still just worked in a, in a sense. So uh, I'll give that another three. Um, tone five, <laughs> give it a five. Um, so we got 11 so far. Can you dance to it? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Is it a classic? I don't think so. So solid 11 right behind Kimberly. Um, but yeah, what do we have? Three, 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 five. Bop, 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 zero, zero. All right. Um, next up, let's see who it is. Manon. Let's walk with grace. Solid. And we're, we're going up here. We're going up. We're just going up. We're going up. We're going up here. Ooh. I gotta put it up here. <laughs> I got you. I gotta put it up here, honestly. I gotta put it up here. Yeah, it's like some some training music. You running up the flight of stairs, throwing punches. No, I I, I don't think I just want to say this might be one of the top ones. breather got a breather in here Ooh. I gotta put it back up here <laughs> Hey, they getting it in too. They dancing to this.
Okay, okay. It sounds like the danger theme. Not a great danger theme. Not terrible. This is nowhere near as good as what it was, just that. Things like right in here. Damn. I gotta, I gotta confess. Manon, Manon's gonna be someone who I, I try out. One of the first ones I try out. I gotta, I gotta confess. Ay, ay, ay. Manon. Manon. My main potentially dynamic range i gotta give it a five <laughs> it was just kept me in it kept me in the rhythm kept me going it was some highs there was some lows i felt like it was gradually building multiple times even when it had times where it gave you a chance for a breather you know and it didn't lose too much momentum until one part where it started hitting the danger theme which is like it, it really dropped at that point but at that point it had already done its damage right it was already solidified that it was a it was a good song energy weirdly enough but maybe not too weirdly for a, a, a fashion model a very high tempo and at the same time very kind of chill at the same time you know it, that's like the best of both worlds that's why it hit the green mark for me red is like just high octane energy and then green is like just that's just like the vibe zone where it, it somehow manages to be vivacious and chill but also it, it, the temple is is going and it's energetic at the same time and you know when it hits that perfect mark that just right mark i gotta put it in the green so i give energy i give that a five <laughs> Uh, tone that's another five it, it fits the character and i think it fits the game right it's not like marissa where i feel like it's just too out of the the woodworks it feels like it's something that you would hear in this universe so that's three fives can you dance to it yes is it a classic though i honestly think that it is a classic i honestly do I honestly do i feel like it's a song like here's hear me out i can hear this song being played at evil doing like the wrap-up song all the players the journey to the top and you know the ending so on the players reactions and so on the hype moments i could hear this part specifically i could hear this part being the wrap-up for like a street fighter tournament showing you all the players and the journey so far and so on and so on. You know, can you hear it? That's that's what I hear for that part. You know, I just feel I hear so many different usages for this song where it could be used for so many things beyond just the game and i also feel like this is a good fighting game song the tempo was good you know is it doesn't slack off it's it's a, a one of the perfect street fighter six songs you know it's right up there with where you where it's why yous may be more of a harder punch and manon's is more of a more relaxed and chill but also not something to, to slouch at um you know we're gonna have to have a talk on which one's better <laughs> personally i like manon's better because i like the vibe more y'all can y'all can't see my bad my bad y'all can't see it. um so yeah here's manon yo look at the switch look at that look number one number two number one number two number one number two all right you missed Manon at the podium, my bad. Who's next? Lily, Lily. Oh, baby. Okay, well, let's run it. The theme song is called Diosa Del Soil. 
Well, all right. Ooh. I already love the song from the trailer, man. We starting off up here. Personally, we starting off up here. Not so first. And we're going down a little bit. We're going down a little bit. Ooh, and then we're okay. I see what's going on. in the green but I'll play this, this very high very high it's not giving me those vibes yet Because it's a repeat. Ooh. This is like some Mortal Kombat shit. A lot of energy in this part. Not my favorite part, though. topped out. You know. Yeah, we topped out right in this mark. It kind of pretty much stayed at that point for me. Yeah, we started off hella strong, you know, is is probably my favorite start to the song. Uh, obviously, the graph doesn't lie. The graph don't lie, so. I kind of wanted to say that I was disappointed when I first heard this song, but I think it accomplishes enough, enough, you know, it accomplishes enough. It is definitely one of the more upbeat songs in the game. Um, even though I feel like it is gradually declining the whole way through, it's still better than some of the other songs. It's just, it's just the fact that it's it's just that bit of disappointment factor that it, it starts and then it's you know that that's the sense of momentum you know even though it's still good it just set the bar too high in my personal opinion but i think if you look at it from the outside looking in and if you just quit forgetting to rank the, the people <laughs> this one's not gonna be hard though 
Um, you know, if you look at it from the outside looking in, then you can see with eyes unclouded by hate. So Lily to the podium, please. Dynamic range, I think it is probably not the strong suit of this song, right? This song, I felt like it, and that probably had to do with the declining factor for me. It definitely hit the same marks multiple, multiple times. And I, I don't think, even though it does switch the song up multiple times, because that's the way that the songs are structured in Street Fighter VI, I don't necessarily think that if they're great changes, right? There's the difference between just having changes just for the sake of changes and then have changes that gradually build up the song and, you know, put it in positions to succeed. I feel like this is a case while it's not a more the of the the worst end of things. I just don't think that is well off as the other songs we gave five to. So I'll give it a four. Yeah, but that round three when that round three kicks in, that was that was my shit. <laughs> I already know it's something you could dance to. I don't even have to check that. Um, yeah, dynamic range four out of five. The energy five out of five. The tone. Five out of five. Um, can you dance to it? Yes. So that's what. That's uh, 15 points down. 15 points so far. Is it a classic though? 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 Is that 15? Do we put it to 16? Or do we leave her at the bottom of S? I like, if the song continued like the start, I would definitely give it a classic bonus. If the song continued like this part, You know, if it's song continued like that first bit, I would have no hesitation putting it, giving it the classic, you know, but I feel like that part of the song just completely got dropped out and it just went into a different, a different beat entirely. Um, so I, I don't think I could give it a classic, but it's sitting nicely with the 15, 15. Next, who's next? Dalsium. Dalsum. I already did Dalsum. He's one of the first three that I did. We'll, we'll knock his out real quick. Here's my projected score. I'll make it right. My projected score is something like this. Is this fit for a fighting game? That's the question we should ask ourselves with this one. This song loathes me to sleep every time, and I don't hate it. I like it. I like songs like this. It's just, it, <laughs> it puts me in a trance.
this down. Put a repeat. More or less what I thought it was, more or less, right? Can you dance to this? I, I never even checked. You kind of, kind of. You could kind of some parts. You could kind of. Uh, so we're, who's Dawson? Dawson. Um, did I rank everybody? Yeah, I think I did. All right. <laughs> Uh, so range, range, two out of five, <laughs> two out of five range energy. It's like a three out of five tone, five out of five. And can you dance to it? I say barely, barely, just barely. Right. So what do we, what I just say? <laughs> Sim, I don't know how to spell his name. What did I just say? Uh, range two, energy. I'm gonna give it a three. And tone five. Blah blah blah. Zero, one. Somehow still accurate to my original ranking. <laughs> still accurate to my. I like it more than Honda's. Okay, this graph is pretty neat. It's doing exactly what I needed to do. Hope y'all having a good time listening to these tunes. Let's find out what the next track is. Jamie, you already heard that. Blanca. Ooh. Something like that. Yeah, they getting it in. The dancers, I mean. Okay. I was waiting for something to happen. Yeah. I'll say it's like right here. That's a big increase. there Danger or round three, but
There we go. This must be round three right here. I'll put it like. I feel comfortable leaving it right there. Uh, is it, this is a strange kind of graph because I actually do like Blanca's theme. I, I actually do like his theme. I think I, I started it off way too well. I think that's the part that's throwing it off. Yeah, I like the start of his theme. I don't know why I started it so low. <laughs> it's more like, it's more like right up in here where it should start and be like like this than anything else uh, that's more accurate Blanca 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 oh let's put him on the podium first so you can get your opportunity if you get up there son you ready for this dynamic I say it's a four I say it's a four you know it is it did a lot it did a lot not necessarily a lot that I thank God that I like personally, but it did a lot and I can't fault it for that. I'll give it a little four out of five energy. Here's the thing. It sounds energetic at a glance, but is it really? Is it really energetic truly? Like I feel like there's some songs that looking at it from a distance, you would assume that it's energetic and all the sounds coming in at a fast pace could persuade you to believe it's energetic you know but for some reason i didn't feel like it was the most energetic thing even though it was throwing a lot at me maybe i'm just sleepy <laughs> maybe you're here to get yeah it's, it's definitely Yeah, yeah, it's definitely not in my opinion. What is the hypest part of the song? You know, I, I can't say it's a three, but I also feel like four might be on the tad bit high side, but I can't justify giving it a three, so I'll, I'll, I'll say a four. And then tone, I guess I don't know Blanca enough to really say give this one, but as far as fitting Street Fighter Six and the overall tone of Street Fighter Six, I say it's more on the app app normal side, you know, kind of like Marissa's. Um, maybe not as extreme as Marissa's. Or maybe it is more extreme than Marissa's. Uh, if if Street Fighter Six were a timeline of of like music, it would be like two thousand, like uh, the mixture of the nineties into the two thousands, right? Not quite, you know, the nineties sounds, but not all the way into the two thousand, you know, the trap beats and the. You know the the crunk music not quite that but it's, it's somewhere in the middle there's some sort of uh, um, you know communication happening marissa's song is more like a it's more like a 2011 song <laughs> you know 2011 tumblr song is is what is more like some random tumblr or social media person put out a song and it has admittedly a, a somewhat good beat to it it's a somewhat listener to listen to both sound to it you know maybe even a good one but you don't want to tell nobody that you listen to that shit, so you just keep it to yourself you know it's kind of like you know 
if I were to judge that. Blanca's, on the other hand, his doesn't sound like it's even belonging to, uh, you know, the music industry at all. It's just like, I'm an animal. I'm a something. You know, it is more abnormal than Marissa's. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so, tone, I guess I'll, I'll give it a, a four, because I can't quite say if I think it fits or not. Can't quite say. But you can definitely dance to it. And some people might feel like I'm low balling Blancas because you know I know I like his song, but I, I don't know. Let me let me out it up first. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Now it's about where I, where I think it should be. It's about where I think it should be. You know? I think Barista's is, is, is it, there's a tiebreaker in here somewhere. It's about where I think it should be, right? I always think it was gonna be like in the B, it is, it's okay. You know, it's, uh, it's okay. You know, it, there's definitely a gap between these songs. Kimberly, I feel like, I still feel like Kimberly was sabotaged because her song has better parts than these two right here. Her song has better parts. And if we could cut those parts out, I would easily argue that Kimberly is somewhere up here. You know, maybe even up here. I would argue that if we could cut down those those bits that just went nowhere. Zen Geef. Ooh. got the dance bonus too. I think it does. Oh, look at Doors. He's hitting that shit. Right, this, this is my favorite part right here. I'll give this part right here. And then we go back into this area. Danger theme or not? But I'm not really feeling. But I don't think it's bad either. This might be round three. If it's round th three, then I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna put it down a bit. This danger thing that we're saying up here. All right, you got a branching path. <laughs> All right, 
Back to the good stuff. Okay. I gotta put it up here in the green again. That was nice. first branching path <laughs> into the song geef song is actually one that i thought i was just gonna hate when i heard it in the trailer i i didn't well i thought it was gonna be like annoying to listen to avatar zang <laughs> can we have geef to the podium please so what are we talking about we talking about range the fuck did this song sound like i forgot <laughs> That's how it starts. Okay, I have made a decision. Range, I think it's like a four. It's okay, it's good enough. You know, the song is, is definitely boosting the range up higher than I think it should be. But you know, the song is good enough that the range is just getting a, a, a passive boost. So I'll give it a four. Energy is I don't think it's a strong suit of this song not till the the very end it's not a strong suit um, so that makes it a bit of a challenge to rank it all the end definitely is completely different from the beginning you know the beginning is not like an energy fiend or anything like that and then you get to the end And then they, all of a sudden it is, you know, yeah, it, it's hard to call. It's hard to call. It's like a three, the beginning. It's like a three at the beginning. So we're coming somewhere in the middle with the four and tone is on the verge of being an oddity, but I think it fits. Does it fit Zangief? I don't know the character enough. But for the fact that I feel like it's more on the oddity side, not necessarily bad, but I just don't know if it's like the perfect fit for theme of the game, the street the angle of the game in the underground fights or whatever have you. And I definitely can't give a, a, a judgment on the character fitting because I don't know Zangief like that. So I'm just going to say another four. Well, it's definitely still a high score. Is it a classic? I don't think so. Can you dance to it? Yes. Somehow managed to fit himself somewhere in here. Where is he at? Where is he in it? Who's he in between? Marissa got a 12. Yeah, I can I can see that. I can see that. I I'm definitely don't love Marissa's theme like that. Marissa's theme surprised me more than anything. Moving on. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs, what we've been waiting for. It's just dropped today. And let me hype this up so that you can be disappointed. When a trailer happened, I said that this theme might be one of the sickest, the potential to be one of the sickest in the game. And I said that her potential danger theme could also rival that of juries and a few others who had very strong danger themes. I still don't know what her danger theme is, but let's see where the song lies within the south. The Tekken 
a thematic character. We're starting off like in here, intrigue. Starting off in the realm of intrigue. To this. They look they look like damn fools. I'll give it a slight increase for this. This is the part I like. We going up again. We going up again. We going up. We going up. But then the novelty wears off. That's a weird one. That is a weird one. Uh, that song is a weird one. It made it to the top. At the t this is this is a prime example of what I say said sometime in this video. I don't. This video feels like it's a year long. Damn it! When did I say this shit? What age was I when I said that shit? <laughs> was Street Fighter Six out already? How long have I been recording this shit? It's like some years ago, I said that the Street Fighter 6 songs sound like they're divided. Sometimes um, it works out, you know, and they they still feel like a whole entire song from start to finish. And other times it feel like they're being subtracted and they're they're It feels like the songs are being cut in half, you know, because they're, they're taking like a, you know, it feels like it's parts of the song that comes in later should have came in way earlier. Um, and instead they're spreading them out, you know, to fit into different rounds and splicing them into a song that you put together into a song. It doesn't sound all that natural, but if you put it in a round by round by round basis, you'll probably sound better in an actual game, in an actual fight. So this is another one of those songs where I feel like it was cut you know, the peanut butter jelly sandwich was, was cut into pieces and and then some asshole took one of the, the slices and they added like some ketchup on it. And then another asshole came in and they put like some pickles and some garlic um, and, and bananas uh, peels on top of it. And then the one, the one true, the originator who said, I am not going to be a weirdo 
took the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. He took his his third slice, his or hers third slice, and he split it into another half. And then he ate it as is. That's whatever the fuck that means. That is what's happening with some of these songs and Cami songs. Unfortunately, I feel like it's part of this. Right. Some asshole put pickles on that sandwich. And this is the result in my personal opinion. Um, so will Cami please come to this podium? We're going to make fun of and We're going to talk about you for a little bit. But that said, I don't think it's as bad. It's just more disappointing than anything. Um, dynamic range, I feel like, is one of the weakest aspects of this song. All right. Definitely amplified when the song doesn't hit all the marks. Um, but I also feel like it just didn't really go to as many places as every other song that we've heard so far you know it's, it's kind of in the same realm of as gully's theme or gully's didn't really go to very many places it's just that cami sounds just a, a bit better than gully so there's a little saving grace there i'll say it's like a three three out of five energy uh, before i make this and get a, a ton of hate <laughs> Okay, it has some saving grace in there. You know, it has some saving grace. I'll say it's another three out of five. I think that the tone of her song is brilliant. I think it's brilliant and I think it fits the character. I think it fits the game. I think it fits every stage that you could possibly imagine it going to. Um, you know, the, the tone is not the issue here. That's a five out of five. Um... What's next? Is it a classic? Hell no. Is it something you could dance to? I'm not too sure. Let me look at him. Um, did I say that they look like damn fools or is that a different song? Yeah, they're, they're, they're damn fools. So definitely not something you could dance to. Um, so that's, that's the score right there. That's an 11 right there, right? It's 11. It's a surprisingly weak sewing, and I don't think it's better than any of these in the B class. Although I do think her round three and or uh, danger theme is still among the better. If we were just judging by danger themes to give her the edge, I would definitely put her not above Kim, but you know, like right here. I have to let the disappointment wash off of me before I can actually come back to Cammy's song and then rank it without bias. You know, without the dis my eyes are clouded by hate right now, so I <laughs> I can't do it fairly. That's as fair as I can give it. Uh oh, Luke. Oh no, Luke. No. Let me. Before I give a grumpy rating, because I'm hungry, let me get something to eat first, and I'll come back, and then we'll look at Luke's attempt at music. Be right back. Back, back, back into action. Um, <clears throat> now, I went back, and I kind of reviewed a bit of a, the scores, of, just a tad bit, right? And I'm noticing that I gave Marissa a dance bonus. And... I kind of was, was questioning, why did I give her a dance bonus? <laughs> um, I don't feel like her song is danceable, you know, for the majority of it. There's like one moment in the song where it's just barely qualifying. And that's the what I'm assuming is going to be the danger theme, right? That one tidbit at the end is, is what I think I why I put that down there. She may be coming down the ranks and joining the beat tier, right? She may be down here pretty soon. I think we're going to do that right now. <laughs> Just because I feel like, it, you know, it's worth doing so. And personally, I think that Dawson's is better. And I, I argue that I like... I. <clears throat> 
Yeah, something like that. Okay, this is like a rough draft, right? We we gotta we gotta get it done first, and then we can have it, and then we can work with it later. So Luke, Luke, Luke. Let's do it. Hey, they're actually moving to it. I feel like it starts like in here. And it's not bad. bob your head a little bit to it unlike Marissa's His theme is gonna have to drop off issue though. Like, we're already in it right now. <laughs> Gave it a chance. I didn't go all the way. And here we go again. It just, it, it just doesn't want to stop dropping. There's nothing happening here. There's nothing happening here. Oh my. I'll flatline it. I'll flatline it. And that's how that's how it ends. Okay, okay, okay. I, I was I was trying to avoid taking it down as much as I wanted to, but it, it ends right here. It ends. The grueling battle ended with the victory of potentially Gal. Will Luke please get your punk ass to the podium? We're gonna have to talk. So, admittedly, Luke's theme you can bob to a little bit. You bob to it a little bit. We're gonna have to go through the songs again and reassess if we can bob to it and not rely on door crip walking. You know, because door crip walking could be influencing to, to many different things and influence me to give Marissa a dance bonus. Luke. Okay. Uh, is, is the song dynamic? Not very much at all. Less dynamic than Gal Gullies, if that's possible. I'll say it's like a one out of five. Is it have any energy? It has less than Gal, <laughs> but I'll give it the same score as Gal. Gal's not on here. I just realized he's. The, I forgot he's the people put him on the list. Hold it, hold up, hold the phone. Gully, believe it or not, I feel like I gave Gal a too high of a score. The tone of his song. Let me hear this shit again. <laughs> I can hear it in that part. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I'd say it's like a another two. 
Um, but admittedly, nah, I can't. I can't give it a dance bonus. I can't. We got ourselves our first. He's not moving. He's not moving any higher than that. Um, I could give him the dance bonus to put him in here, but but the one part, the one aspect of this that is making me want to give it a low score is this is a fighting game theme song tell me that you want to hear this while you're fighting right we didn't go over this aspect with every character but we did mention it at one point i could hear cammy's song playing out in a fight i could hear marissa's song playing out in a fight uh what this dude's honda's theme playing out in a fight sims I don't even remember what it sounds like. And Juries, I can hear hers being in a fight. Kimberly's, I can hear hers being in a fight. All of these have the energy, the tempo, and just a certain rhythm that is like you could you could understand. You can understand that, right? If it's not just like fighting music, is is some sort of chaos and action music that you can hear it playing out to. Luke doesn't even sound like it belongs in any sort of action at all. Giles hardly does either so I'm gonna leave Luke down here because it doesn't even sound like it could fit any sort of action not just a fighting game it just doesn't sound like it fits any action whatsoever I could put on a golf video and I feel like hey this shit is it's not it's not hype enough <laughs> it is, it's not hype enough music for what I'm viewing you know, watch Spongebob writing the... No, this is this is not selling it, man. We need something a bit more crunk. Again, that, that's just what I feel about Luke's uh, theme. So it is what it is. I don't know. I'm curious to see how all of these graphs line up, right? I wonder if all of these graphs that I drew are even any sort of accurate to what I'm even saying. So let's pick our next song. We only got four left. And here's one of them. Woo! Starting off like we're in here. Ooh! I like that. Energy and chill. But it's it's not green energy. It's it's not green chill. Oh, but look, you could you hella dance it to this. Ooh, flatlining. Bring it down a little bit. Down a little bit, a little bit more. Mother in here. that repeat oh there we go
Mm. I'll give it up for that one. I'll give it a slight boost for that. I like the change. I like the sense of dread. I'll give it like right here. I won't give it too much higher, but I like that part. All right, all right. It was solid. Very, very solid. I'm speaking. It's very solid. <laughs> started speaking in a different accent this video is never going to end even though it may not be the most high octane song out there it definitely was something something that kept you moving kept you bobbing and weaving right it was something that that kept a, a good flow to it a good rhythm to it um I'm taking luke off just so i could put dj on the podium so dynamic range not its strong suit I give that like a three you know it was kind of very it was so subtle and just didn't seem like it was too concerned about that energy it was chill energy chill energy but not perfect chill energy it was just borderline borderline party but also just with the overtone of chill so I, i'd say that's like a i'll give it out a three as well i'll give it a three tone is definitely a five uh, for the stage i guess it's, it's not the street aesthetic but it is the the down to earth aesthetic, you know, that, 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 um, um, cookout picnic, you know, that, that type of atmosphere, which I believe is fitting. And is it a classic? I don't know, but can you dance to it? Yes, absolutely. So we got a 11, we got a 12. Where does that put DJ at? 12? Oh, 12 is like, Ooh, nice. Blanca has the energy, um, over DJ. And I think that Blanca's, it's kind of hard to put DJs over Blanca because DJs is so laid back and mellow. Uh, if we were talking about fitting the tone of the game, I put DJ above Blanca. Um, so we, now there's only three. It's Ken, what's her name, and what's his name? Uh-oh, uh-oh. It's my girl. Get ready. Oh, they already grooving. Oh. Uh. I gotta start it off up here. This is, in my opinion, it's got a perfect sound to it right now. <laughs> Actually, it's it started up here. All right, there we go. I gotta put it back up here. I like this the sound. Alright, 
right that's definitely a dip right there but that's like into the in between wilds right there It's a danger theme. I think it's one of the better ones. I dare say it's my personal favorite. And it got better. <laughs> it got better. I forgot. graph but I think it, it got the job done for the most part right I tried to do it without bias because I like if it was up to me I would probably put more of it in the green but I can I'm trying to do it without bias you know I, I can hear the drops I can feel the drops and you know not everybody might think that it's as good as I feel it is but you know so I'm ranking it in the same way that I ranked everything else and it just has some good parts in it. Chung Lee, please come up to the podium, please. Hey, Miss Chung Lee, I like to see your booty. Can't wait for it. <laughs> Got two days. It's this will probably be up, and then there'll be one day left. There'll be one day after this gets uploaded. Dynamic range. I'm just gonna give it a five out of five. Right, that song had everything that you needed in a song. The range of it. Um, it was not bad range. It felt like it was one complete and whole song. It didn't feel like it was divided and cut. Her song is is complete. It's not missing. It's not you know a, a different sandwich just spliced into different whatever. It's it's a good song. Um, so Chun Li's dynamic range is a pizza. The song's energy. Someone could point out and say this song is not as energetic as say we're used, who is also has a lot of green in his song. I say that is true. Chun Li's song is a mixture of chill and energetic, which is why it got the green because you know that's what the green is reserved for. Is 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 something that does things in a perfect mix that accomplishes the vibe. The vibe. It has the vibe going for it. And that's something that a lot of songs don't have is that vibe. I'd be hard pressed not giving Chun Li a five. I'd be hard pressed, especially in an actual fight in the in a round, round by round. Tone, I'd also give that a five because it's like the one of the most, the top three songs that just fits Street Fighter Six in the most perfect sense. That's a perfect fifteen. Is it a classic? I think it is a classic. I think it is. I think it is absolutely a classic. Is it something you can dance to, however? I'm not sure. Maybe not like dance to and then like, oh, I'm going to go down the Soul Train type of shit, but just like bob your head too, you know, just move a little bit, you know, something like that. I don't know. I don't know. It, 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 it can be done. It can happen. That's what I'll say. If I gave Marissa a dance bonus, I'm damn sure going to give Chun-Li a dance bonus. 
How the fuck does Dal Sim have a dance bonus? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> what the fuck? Hold up. How the fuck did that happen? What when in what world did that happen? It must be true. Uh, how about this? I won't give Chun Li a dance bonus. But she does have a classic. That brings her total I can barely see. That brings her total down up to 16. Alright, just because I'm a Chun Li player, I'll nerf myself. I'll nerf myself for now. We'll come back to it later, of course. But for now, let's give them a little bit of comfort and let them think that they've won. Ken. That's a very Ken sound. And it gets off to a good start early. I'll give it a green just for a bit. Oh, I like that part. He has a lot of drops in his song. But it's not that big a drop. Another one. There's another one. <laughs> I'll just take it to the start. That's a good part of this danger. All right. Ay, 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 ay. You know, it's kind of the, the traditional thing, you know, you fall off and then another fall off and then another fall off. You know, that's kind of the Street Fighter 6 formula. Um, one gripe is not really replicated in the graph and the graph is just a loose, like depiction of what I'm thinking. Um, let's put Ken to the podium, please, please. One thing about Ken's song is as he has another issue with the danger theme, in my personal opinion, one of a few who would otherwise have a higher score in their theme songs. Ken, just like Kimberly, has a great or at least a good danger theme that gets hindered by the fact that it doesn't immediately get to the amplified part of that. It lingers on a more storytelling based 
of Ken's character arc potentially, which you can hear that in this part. All right, you can hear that is a very tone based character driven sound in his danger theme, which it's not bad is, is, you know, solid, solid. It's going to give this, his theme a five, his tone a five. Um, but this is a fighting game and I want to just emphasize this part that when you're actually in a match, you're going to die on this part every single time, or at least nine times out of 10. And then the part that actually gets more amplified and more intense and energetic a bit. It takes so long to get to that part that you most likely won't ever hear it. This part, that part right here. Right. I don't even know if that is included in his danger theme because I have never heard it in a match yet. I just think that it's another case of sabotage. Um, but yeah, dynamic, his song, I feel like it's, I won't give it a five, but I'll give it a four, give it a four out of five. It, it, it's borderline a five, but the one thing that doesn't make me want to give it a five is the constant drop offs that happen, you know, just in the middle of it when it feels like it could take it up a, to the next gear and then it just drops off and it's like, eh, you'll get it next time, fella, <laughs> you'll get that next time in the the championship edition of street fighter 6 we'll remix the music and we'll make it more amplified you know blah 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 you know and that's what it feels like you know we'll get it next time i, I have to give it a four i can't give it a five tone we already said five it sounds like ken hell it even looks like ken is it a classic i don't think so can you dance to it You can. Yeah, you can. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Almost had me doing the old man jokes, huh? Almost had me. So that puts him just out of, just out of the top tier, you know, and behind Jamie. Where's Jamie? Yeah, Jamie's at a 14. Tied with Jamie? Damn, I don't know about, yeah, maybe. And then there was one. Now, a lot of people hate this one. Here we go. Plunder, the plumber. <laughs> Let's see if this song is as bad as people think it is. I, it, it can't be any worse than Gal and Luke's. I know that much. Sound like an elephant <laughs> background. Okay, I'll, I'll start it off like right here. It's not a, a great start. That's the problem. It starts off so marginally. Give it a boost here. It sounds like something you would hear in Saw.
about right there on the finish not, not the worst not not terrible definitely a bit like heavily leaning on the the sensory aspect of it of the song I didn't even check and see if it was danceable I don't think it was my sick senses say that it, it wasn't <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like something you would hear in a Saw movie, you know. Oh, I want to play a game, you know, that you some sit like that, and you know, you're in a, a room somewhere and, and like the music kicks in, and, you know, that's that's some Jigsaw shit. You know, in that aspect, it, it's it's pretty tight. Yeah, that's pretty tight. But on the other aspect, and I will say this, it, at least it does sound like it belongs in a fighting game. We can acknowledge that. Off of that alone, it is above them, right? So, JP on the podium, he's already alone by himself. So, let's just leave it at that. And Dynamic Range, the final one of the day. Dynamic Range. His song definitely lacked a lot of range, per se. It definitely did not go that many places. We started, or we started you know, in the driveway. And we ended uh, in the, the front yard. <laughs> right, we, we moved more sideways than we did forward. Um, it's, it's it was like a it's, it's like a I'll give it a, a I'll I'll give you this I'll say it's a two dynamic range is a I'll give it a three because because it, it does stuff at the end and you know it does switch it up. It's not exactly like. I can't say it's a bad change because the song starts off so low, you know, and that's a weird thing because I don't think it's like great change. It's, I feel like it's, it is to an extinct change for the sake of change, but it's also necessary change because it started off so a bit uninspired. So you get me like I feel like if the song started off better then I would say, yeah, this is just change just for the sake of change. It's not really, you know, good change, but, <laughs> but you know, so I'm, I'm giving it a benefit of doubt because it, it, it smurfed itself. So three out of five dynamic, um, range. What's his name? Jennifer? Uh, energy. <clears throat> Again, not its strong suit. It definitely lingered on the final boss and the sensory thematic aspect of it. You know, this is the allegedly final boss, bad guy, allegedly something. I'll give it a three because it does pick up at the end. It picks up. The end definitely saves these things from being a two. Um, the last one is tone, and I have to say tone. I think it fits. I think it is a good fit. I think it is. I think it may not be the best fit. Let me listen to it one more time. Like that part, I would say five. But the beginning part. The beginning part is more like mysterious person. 
mysterious intrigue. We don't know who he is. We don't know what he's about. He's just an old man who, you know, he's, he's, he's got a cane and he's buff as shit. You know, I, I want to give it a high score. I want to give it a high score, but I think it's a four. You know, this is a high score, just not the perfect score. Classic, hell no. Can you dance to it? My gut says no. No, you can't. <laughs> I, I, don't, I wasn't filling it and I look at Door the Explorer and doesn't look like he's filling it either and neither is Lee Jun Goat. The Goat is not filling it either. AKA Lee Jun Hyun. Uh, one of the greatest performers of all time. Don't mess with her. He's a G. Uh, so what? Oh, wait, we did. Did we score him yet? Jennifer. Um, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven. Oh, who was tied with eleven? Hmm. Something about this feels wrong. I don't know. Maybe he's just an eleven. <laughs> Maybe he's just an eleven. Let's see how it looks. That's it, Honda. That's right at Honda. And Becky. I mean, what's her name? Cammy. I'm sleepy. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm tired. I've been doing this for two hours. So JP Cammy, which is kind of, is kind of accurate. I honestly, uh, I put him like back here, right? You know, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. I think the route card doesn't necessarily mean it's worse than a B. It just means that it's hard to quantify where they actually place. I feel like Jerry has some parts that could potentially put her in A tier, but you know, she's like somewhere in the B tier by, uh, by the ranks and JP, I just don't feel comfortable putting him in B tier. So he's just in there and just like a holding, holding cell. It might sound better in an actual match. That's one thing we got to keep constantly repeating and reminding ourselves that these themes may sound better in a match because these songs are divided and they're put together as one whole song and for the YouTube video and whatnot, but they're actually three different songs in many cases. And only a few of those songs, like these songs that made it into the S tier and and some of these in the A tier, and maybe some in the B tier. Only some of those are were able to deviate from that sensation of being incomplete songs due to the fact that they were split up and divided. And they still manage to feel like they are one full wholesome song, right? One peanut butter and jelly sandwich, undivided, that which it stands. I'm tired. I'm going to get the fuck out of here. I only did this shit because, because I'm down bad. <laughs> I can't wait for June the 2nd. I can't wait for June the 2nd. All right, I'm down. I'm down. I don't give a fuck about this shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just kidding. It was fun to do. I hope you enjoyed this. And, you know, I'll bet y'all further ado. I'll get, we'll go over the ranks one more time just to do like a, a quick, since it's like two, like a 15 years long. Luke's theme, worst in the game in my opinion. Although I do feel like it, it has some ability to bop your head to more so than gals, goalies at least. But it's at the end of the day, it's not a song that fits any sort of action, right? It not only does it I not feel like it fits a fighting game, but I don't feel like it fits any action, period. It sounds like training music or maybe just like a menu song of some sort, but it doesn't suit action scenes at all, in my opinion. Gully's theme, that's a gully sounding theme. Uh, wild card, these are 
you know placements that are hard to really quantify where they belong uh jp even though his score reaches you know b tier by technicalities by the solid ranks and i don't feel comfortable taking away from those ranks i don't also feel comfortable putting him in the b tier so he's kind of like in the middle of the nexus right now jerry on the other hand i feel like he had a great song but it also just gets i don't feel like it really connects with the game or even with the stages but it does fit her character and she does have arguably the best danger theme in the game which would put her in an a tier if i were judging just by that alone again it's hard to quantify based on all of these parameters um, but if we were ranking danger themes jury will probably be at the top of the entire street fighter 6 cast cami's is a it's a it was a bit of a setup for disappointment because it sounded so great in the trailers but that's one thing that we have to keep in mind is when they show the trailers they showcase the highest parts of the songs the most attractive parts um but based on the way the street fighter 6 does its uh sound formats the songs are divided into three rounds and not all of them sound like a complete wholesome song and cami is one of those songs that's that was a victim of this format whereas the song by itself could be a great song and maybe it sounds better in an actual match we gotta also keep that in mind these matches round for round it may sound better in an actual match but as a standalone song it's just more in the end of disappointment than anything um barissa is, is a surprisingly better song but it, it also sounds like it doesn't really fit in the game um in the settings um but yeah surprisingly uh, very solid Honda's um, is, is pretty much a, a good song, right? It's just a good song. Nothing negative to say about it. Nothing too crazy positive to say about it. It's just a very solid, if I were to say like just the perfect middle ground song for Street Fighter 6, it would probably be Honda. You know, just the perfect, absolute, average, not average, but the perfect, you know, neutral song. <laughs> uh, he's not a good guy, not a bad guy. He's just a guy Dawson makes me sleepy every time I listen to it and I love his song one of my personal favorites um, it just sounds good to listen to I probably will play this in training mode um, yeah it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good one but at the same time I can't put it too much higher because of how uh, low sounding it is and how try uh, how hypnotizing it is it may just lull you to sleep kimberly's theme i feel like it was sabotage she has a great theme song but it also takes a long time to get to her best parts but if we were ranking just her best sounding arrangements in her song she would be in the a tier um i may come back later and revisit kimberly's song but yeah it's one of the biggest hindrances is i don't think it's something that you can really move your feet to it's just like a, a it's a good song good pieces but you know can't really move your feet to it too much it's just a song that kind of loses its mark here and there dj easy to listen to this is a very easy going song that that also manages to keep enough tempo and pace to land itself into the a tier Bon bonka I feel like I gave it a low rating, but upon hearing it, I don't think it's as good of a song as my mind tells me it is. Like it is, it's obviously a good song, but I don't think it has as much energy as my mind. I tricked myself into believing it has and re-listening to it. I feel like it's, it's, it's solid enough, solid enough, but not the top of A tier. What's his name? Zangief. I thought I would hate his song turned out to be decent although there's parts that i i really don't like i can't uh, deny that it's a solid sounding and very upbeat and probably will be a popular song in street fighter 6 kins is a very ken sounding song another person who was sabotaged with his danger theme potentially but it does have a, a lot of story uh remnants to it the ken fans will probably love hearing this but in a fight I kind of wish that it was a lot more up-tempo 
it has a lot of drop balls, but it's a very Ken sounding song and it's one of the better songs, a lot of energy, good en enough energy at least, and solid overall. Jamie's one of the better songs in the game, didn't get the S tier because uh, it just didn't have that extra oomph, that extra gear to it, um, but it is one of the better examples of Street Fighter 6 and probably one of the most definitive sounds of the entire game. Lily has one of the better beginnings to a song in the entire game. Unfortunately, her song, for me personally, was only going treading downhill from there, but it was such a high starting point that even with the descent, it still managed to remain in an S tier category for me, at least regarding Street Fighter 6, which I also think regards to any game, I think it's a very solid song. Chun Li's theme, I actually low cut this one because she's my main and I can't help but try to avoid bias because I would probably give her the highest score which she missed by one point. I feel like her song is along the lines of classic sounding Capcom fighting game music. Of all the songs, I feel like her song is the most old school Capcom sounding and that classic vibe for it is a big contributor in her getting her rank but I can't deny that there are some drop offs in her song where the energy kind of lacks and maybe it's just not the best sounding parts towards the late end um, but overall it is a very classic sounding song and I think it's going to last the test of time. Manon's theme is arguably the best song in the entire game. It has everything that you need. It has everything. It has the chill vibes. It, it, it's one of those songs that manages the chill vibe, just like Chun Li's song, just like every song in the S tier. They manage to have the chill, but also have the hype, have the tempo, have the energy, they have the tone, they have everything going for them, and it does it very well. Um, these S tier songs are in the S tier because of this primarily and that I will not take away or argue without any doubt Manon's theme is tied at first place and personally it is my number one song because of the chill that it has it is by far the most chill of its caliber in the entire game. Ryu's theme is the template Everything is a derivative of Ryu's theme, right? I feel like his theme set the example, it set the bar, and it was a trickle down effect. Unfortunately, Ryu's theme was so damn good and so high octane action punched you in the gut, you know, it just left so many other of its trails in the dust, and it's hard to catch up to him. <laughs> it's hard to catch up to him. It's a very commercial sounding song, like a very like introduction to like a uh, a TV series, <laughs> but it does it well. It's not very many takeaways from the song. It just does everything great, puts you in a good mood, just like every other song in the S tier. It is just one of the prime examples, the prime definitive sound of Street Fighter VI. And with that said, it's earned its spot as the top two best songs in the game, Manon and Ryu, interchangeable, uh, God damn it, Ryu, <laughs> interchangeable, can I switch it, thank you, Int yeah, there we go, fuck it, I did it once, I'm tired, I'm done, I'm gonna go make me some oatmeal, I hope you guys and gals enjoyed this video, I will try to get this out before the 20th because by then we're going to have to do another video watching all of the stuff. So until then, I bid y'all further ado. May peace be with. Always keep your heads up. Deuces don't spell. Adios. Stay cool. And if you like this content, be sure to sow some love. But always be sure to sow that love to the people who matter to you. This is ITL bidding you farewell. Peace. Much love. And stay cool. Deuces.
win.